The race to replace Elizabeth May as leader of the Green Party is officially on. May stepped down as leader following last October's election, but the party didn't release the rules for those seeking to replace her until today. Here they are. Candidates will need to raise $50,000, gather 250 signatures from five out of six regions of the country, and they have until June 3rd to register. Daniel Green is the deputy leader of the Green Party of Canada. He joins us from Montreal. Hi, Mr. Green. Nice to see you. Hello. Thanks for your time. So Thank you. let me ask you first, why set the entry fee at $50,000? Well, it's a reasonable amount. Um, it is uh, in line with uh, what the BC Greens have done. Uh, it's much lower than, uh, than other parties. We know that the Conservatives, to participate in the race is, is uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I think it's reasonable. Uh, the candidates are running for a national party, coast to coast to coast. So we have to, they have to demonstrate the capacity to raise money from donors, from our members. And I think it's, it's, it's the right amount with the, the job that this entails. So I want to read some reaction to you from Alex, and I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing this last name incorrectly, Tyrell, the leader of the Green Party in Quebec, who sent a letter saying, by imposing these financial barriers to success, the party's federal council has essentially put the party up for sale. This runs counter to the Green Party's values of gross grassroots participatory democracy. We should be the party of the people, not of the 1%. These financial barriers are an affront to our principles, to fairness, and to the long-term success of the party, which will be prevented from considering some very worthy candidates and platforms. And he's reconsidering his own candidacy. Does he have a point? No, he doesn't, because, I mean, look at myself. I'm not a career politician. I was able to raise during a by-election in Outremont, Quebec, in one week, $5,000. Um, a lot of people in this country are willing to give money and donations to a good green candidate. If Alex Tyrell cannot raise the money, well, maybe he has to ask himself why he cannot raise uh, this very limited amount of money. But doesn't that reduce we are, this to we are money? Talking, we, we are talking about $2,000 a week. Uh, to fundraise. I mean, it is not a lot of money for a national party, and it's an important test. Uh, we want our leader of the Green Party of Canada to show that they have engagement of the people. And one way to show the engagement of the people is through political donations. I do not think it is a, a lot of money. It is much less than what the other parties are asking for. If you look at the NDP... Well, he cites the, the NDP. The, 2017 NDP leadership race entrance fee was $30,000. It, it was, but the limit of expenses was $1.5 million. And we're only asking for a half a million dollars for, for the whole race. But that's and the, by the, the way, entrance And by the way, the entry fee, by the way, the entry fee is two-tier. There'll be a first $10,000, and the candidate has until uh, the end of, of July to raise the other forty. So a candidate that is capable, that, that can can really sell the Green Party to our membership and our donors, I do not think it will be a barrier to, to raise that type of money and run, and run a decent does campaign. Does it move, though... the leadership of the Green Party. Does it move the party away, though, from its grassroots sort of uh, uh, history? Absolutely not. I mean, uh, uh, grassroots does not say that we have to be um, in poverty uh, as a political party. By the way, uh, our fundraising at the Green Party of Canada just before the election was even, we even surpassed in fundraising the NDP. So a lot of Canadians. If I'm not wrong, yeah. A lot of Canadians are prepared to support the Green Party and to support good candidates. And it's up to the candidate to prove himself worthy of our membership and our donors to raise money, to do a good campaign, to participate in the debates in English and in French, and to show Canadians that the Green Party is here to win and win MPs and maybe change the history of this country. Let me ask you about one of the points you just made there around uh, doing the debates in English and in French. Should the next leader be bilingual? Absolutely. Why not make uh, it a requirement? Um, it, it, it very well will, might be a requirement because the, the membership of this party understand that to lead this country, one has to be completely bilingual in respect to the two founding nations of this country, French and English. Franco-Canadians across the country expect to have a leader that can speak to them in their 
one of the official languages. And I'll even go further than that. I would love to have a candidate that speak um, a First Nation, Inuntitut. I think it's important to embrace all languages in this country, and it would be great if we had a country, if we had a, some candidates that spoke even more than the two official languages. Co correct me if I'm wrong, but it is not a, a rule in this race, though, that you have to be bilingual. It is not, but let us remind you that the Green Party of Canada in its constitution is a bilingual party. And, and uh, that means that a leader has to be bilingual, in my book, to be able to be representative of, of the Green Party across the country. Two seconds left. Are you going to run, Mr. Green? No, I'm not. I am not running. I am, uh, I'm, I'm 65 years old. Um, I, have, uh, I have familial obligations. We understand that it's, we call it in Quebec, conciliation, famille, travail. It's very, very hard. And that's one of the reasons why Elizabeth is stepping down. She promised her daughter that she will be there for her, for her daughter and possibly some, some grandchildren later on. So it, 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 I think it, it, is a, it is a sport. Politics is a sport for maybe younger people than myself. And uh, I believe that I've done my part last four, five years for the Green Party of Canada. I will continue to be a candidate for the Green Party and to continue the deputy leader and serve the new leader um, as a deputy leader in Quebec. But no, I've decided to not participate in this race. All right, I'll leave it there. Thank you, Mr. Green. That's Daniel Thank Green, you. deputy leader of the Green Party. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.